Hey everyone, how are you? It's Lori and I'm here to do your oracle messages for you. For some reason I'm being called to uh, roll this zodiac die for you. So you have rolled the exact same thing that all Libras have been rolling for the past week or so. Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, and Libra. Whoop whoop. And Cancer energy, okay? There is Scorpio there too. All right, I'm going to do your oracle messages. Let's go ahead and get the... Um, three yes or no questions. We're going to get one, then I'm going to get an oracle message, and then I will get another, and then we'll do another oracle message, and then I will do a third and final oracle message, yes or no, and finish with whatever else Spirit calls me to give you. All right, so I hope you all are happy, healthy, and having some fun. Life is an adventure. Get out there and explore. Don't take things so serious either. Life is a game, okay? And if you look at it as a game and you know how to play the game, you know what the rules are, you're going to win, okay? But if you don't know what the rules are, how can you possibly win? Read the book, um, uh, uh, Scoville. Life is a, the game of life. The game of life. Check that out. See if it helps. I think a lot of people would be surprised. All right, so your first yes or no answer is yes. Okay, this is a time for enjoying your achievements, rewards, and prosperity. The situation develops calmly and allows you to appreciate your happiness. It gently transforms the situation so that you are given an ideal frame of mind, which is a necessity for any truth. Okay, let's see what the how and when this a feeling of enjoying your rewards and achievements and your prosperity is going to come to you or how it might come to you all right and after we do this i will get you an oracle message but right now i'm feeling like you've been working hard putting in a lot of hours putting in a lot of energy manifesting even possibly but you've been taking care of others okay or striving towards opening a business or accomplishing something here and you are about to be rewarded for this okay and when you do receive the rewards that's going to be um, awesome feeling okay it's that's when it pays off you reap the harvest of your efforts this is how and when it comes to you swiftly and exciting events are going to stream into your life like a hurricane very shortly, in the next one to four weeks, you are going to be treated to the sweet taste of hope, peace, and harmony inside your very soul. When thing change, things change around you, they then can change within you. That's your choice, okay, to allow the changes that happen around you to bring in your own successes. That's awesome. Let's get you a spirit animal oracle message here the colette baron reed oracle let's see what comes out here you guys have worked very hard and it's going to pay off a lot for you okay <clears throat> this gets allows you to um, appreciate your own happiness take time to just be like i did this i accomplished this i'm successful and then you know, after that, that's when the next thing comes along that you decide you want to focus on. Yeah, so it transforms your situation into a very good one. <clears throat> Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. Beautiful card. Okay, card 41 there, which is a five. So there's some sort of change coming in here. A swift change. <clears throat> excuse me a swift change comes in here for you and nightingales are night um they're very verbal birds they have a beautiful sound um but they're very small they're not a big bird but they have a very big voice so let's see what the book says a little bit here It says, love is all around. In the darkness of night, Nightingale Spirit sings her song of love and hope. She's a harbinger of dawn to remind you that the sun will rise again and soon. You are so loved. And the illumination song of the Nightingale Spirit calls you 
to a new level of self-awareness and connection with the light. Yes, there is shadow and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere. Even in the seeming emptiness of space, darkness, and a starless night. Hearken to the message, letting the music of the Nightingale's song remind you that love is all around you. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's light, renewing your ability to recognize that the spaces that appear to be empty are really filled with love and abundance. Illumination for you is going to happen soon, okay? And you have that here in your messages, okay? Something is about to be illuminated for you. Have hope, and you will find that hope, peace, and harmony in your own soul. Deep inside yourself, I'm hearing, you will find this. Peace of mind. Let's see what the... Um, Oh, I said I'd get you another yes or no. And then we'll see what the talisman oracle messages are. All right, let's see. Answer number two, yes or no. What's it going to be, please, Spirit? It is a no answer. And it says, a time of quiet and peaceful change. Beautiful. Some events and people are going to fade into the background of your life, making room for more exciting things to come in, people and events. Changes are going to gently knock at your door, inviting who? Luck. Good luck to enter your ever-changing life, okay? That is beautiful. So when is that going to come to you? How exciting that the changes that are going to come to you, okay? They may come in like a thief in the night, very quietly. Don't hear them, okay? And it's that's what it's saying. It's going to be subtle, peaceful changes, all right? So when I, when I it's funny, when I said like a thief in the night, I, I saw Santa Claus, okay? Santa Claus isn't there to steal. Santa Claus is there to drop off. So that's kind of how this energy feels around these changes that are happening. All right. <clears throat> I also just heard something about you expected a certain gift as a child, but then you received something even better, and that made you realize that spirit knows you truly, really, because you thought you wanted that thing, and it turns out like all your friends got that gift, and you would have been like, wow, everybody has one too. So there's nothing special about that. But what you did get, nobody else got. And it was cool. And it was something that really, really made you happy. So I don't know how that relates to this. But that's what Spirit gave me to tell you. All right, so let's see the how and when. The how and when. Oh, that maybe that's Santa Claus. Okay, bringing you something that you did not expect. Not and it's not like a thief in the night stealing, but giving you more what you really, really do want. Knowing your intentions more clearly than what you do. No, no, that's not right either. Not more than you do, but bringing you what's for your highest good. Okay, so knowing what you're seeking in the sense of an overall like I want a, a Tonka truck for Christmas I want this Tonka truck but instead of getting that Tonka truck the same one that everybody else got you got the super duper new crane truck okay so spirit knew that what you were seeking wasn't necessarily that specific item it was the general okay all right, let's see the how and when these uh, time of peaceful changes are going to come to you. Let's see when this comes to you. All right, the sun of success radiates with sparkling rays shining through the languid lunar twilight. Again, another reference to nighttime ease, easily, you know, things changing subtly. Events are going to take on a distinct edge, allowing you to easily implement your plans, and then you will bathe in the glow of glory and purpose. 
Awesome. So again, peaceful, calming. We take baths at the end of the day, okay? There's something important about that night energy, that magical evening time. Cool. All right. And I'm hearing with this love is all around, all everything you want. If you're seeking love, that's there. If you're seeking support, that's there. If you're seeking financial abundance, that's there. Everything you want is all around you all the time. All you have to do is be open to believing and receiving. And it's there for you. All right, let's see what we have here with the Talisman Oracle message by Nora Pascal Pascaliva. I thought I felt one turn around. Guess not. Okay, navigation. How are you going to navigate? What are you going to use as your personal GPS? Are you going to trust your inner voice, your inner intuition? You know what I'm hearing with this? Your GPS can't tell you where to go if you don't have if it doesn't have a map. Right? How do you navigate? You have to have a map. You have to have a plan. You have to have something so that even if you're just taking a chance. You're going to swing and hit something that's possible. That's weird. I know there's a reference to maps in here. Let's see what it says. Navigation. It says it's time for you to tap into your innate navigation system and plan your trip. Determine where you are heading and imagine the final de destination where you see yourself at peace. After all, even the best GPS wouldn't do you any good if you don't know the address of where you want to go. Determine where you are right now in your life. Clarify your vision and check what attitudes will help you along the way. Forming a new healthy habit does not always come easily. Sometimes it can. Um, but you can definitely prevail with a strong will and determination. This card can also symbolize finding your calling and purpose in life. This is my goal. You can use this as your positive affirmation. Or you can state your goal in a very concise sentence. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. Not I am going to be. You have to use that I am. Okay? And believe it. Believe that you already are. Those two things combined together are the power of the universe. All right, let's look at your third and final yes or no oracle message here. I will be giving you other oracle information. Let's see what your third and final yes, no oracle message is. Camera doesn't zoom in and out when I do this. Okay, good. This is a new setup if you're new here for me, or new here to my channel. Um, I used to do the cards and I have to keep the phone away from my body so this is a new setup for me I appreciate your patience all right your third and final answer is yes okay it says here this is a bright period in your life that is filled with warmth and joy still the choice between your responsibilities and your emotions may alter your plans by kind of warping up your view of the situation. This is the right moment for realizing your true self and overcoming any and all of your shortcomings, okay? Achieve inner harmony at this time. Isn't that funny? Because it's talking about finding that hope, peace, and harmony inside of yourself. Now is the time for you to do that. Beautiful. So there is a need to focus on these things, realizing... Um, Oh, like with the navigation card here, that you have to choose. You have to choose yourself, the direction you want to go in. You have to be determined and confident that it's there, that it's already done. I tell myself so many times, whatever I'm wanting, it's already done. I'm just waiting for it to come to me, and I'm excited about that, and it comes to me. Okay, Just say, no, it works if you believe. 
It may take up to four months, but the fog of uncertainty is going to lift eventually. This reveals a long-awaited correction of conditions and a restoration of what? Justice. Justice. Okay, so my Libras out there who are watching this, that is definitely for you. Your persistently good character and your sincere open-mindedness will provide you with a happy, even if compromised, outcome. Okay, so finding that balance, that's what's going to happen here for some of you. Um, that's why I brought up that justice, um, the Libra energy there. The feelings of doing what feels right for everybody. It may not be right. It may not be the right thing to do. It's the feeling, okay, that everybody has that, okay, that's the best we can do with what we have. All right, let's see what else we have here. Let's see what the romance angels want to say. A couple of cards come out. <clears throat> All right, it says love yourself first. All right, it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's something you need to do within yourself before you can find the love that's all around you. It's there, but you're not letting it in. Okay, so you have to love yourself first. Now, that's not going to be for everybody, obviously. Um, there is some sort of situation here that needs to be reconciled. Someone from your life. I'm going to put someone from your life is returning, okay? So that could be distant past, it could be moments ago, whatever. But there is reconciliation here. Making peace with the situation. And if you are a Libra or if you're interested in a reading, I just did two readings for Libra today and both of them were tied around this energy. Um, you may want to go check those out. I'll link those at the end of this, okay? I'm looking over here at my sheet where I write down the titles. One is a well-deserved fun time. And then the second one, which is the general reading, is yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. All right. All right. On the bottom of the deck, you do have a soulmate. So some of you are calling in soulmate energy. Love is all around. There's going to be some changes here. You've got to know what it is you truly want. Okay. Where do you want to go in life? Where do you want to go with your relationships? Are you just looking for... You have to think about it. You have to know what it is you're truly seeking from a relationship before you're going to receive what it is you really want. Okay, that Santa Claus analogy is coming through again. So some of you are like, oh, I want the tall, dark, and handsome, okay? Um, you know, the Superman, the one that does this, 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 and this, and then you get that and you're like, oh, I don't like that. I, Superman doesn't have any time for me. What? Oh, why would I want that? Okay. Think about what you really want. Okay, do you want somebody who's at work all the time? Because that's what Superman has to do. Peace lilies here. Okay, making peace with the situation, letting things go, but growing a beautiful relationship situation. Okay, you've got card 30 here, which is a three. And threes are about focusing on your mind, body, and soul. Things working out, working together. That's the king of swords there. So using your head and really thinking things out to a certain degree. All right. Let's see. Did I just see a card that was facing the other way? Nope. Yes, I did. All right. So we have here. I got something on my phone. Health care. I don't know. Um, card 33, look at that. You've got the key. Set yourself free. If you're wanting love, it's there, okay? Open your heart. Open your heart. The cage is your heart, okay? You have the key. You have um, everything that you need. That key is even bigger than that heart. So it's like you've had this key for a long time. You're ready to go. And that's the Eight of Pentacles. You've put the energy in to heal, to move past any difficult situations that you may have been in. Beautiful. So you've got three, three, three here between just these two cards. And then if you look at the Nightingale, that's a 41. But if you um, subtract one from four, that's another three, which makes four threes. Numerology, it's working in your favor again, everybody. 
And these readings are for the general collective. Anybody that comes across them and they resonate with, they're for you. Any message you ever come across. I actually, it was funny. I was watching YouTube one day and it went from playing something I was watching and it went into a different sign and I didn't even realize it. And I'm sitting here listening to the uh, message and I'm like, wow, this really makes sense. Probably more than most other messages and all of a sudden I heard the reader say, okay, Scorpio. And I'm thinking, I'm Scorpio rising. <laughs> so now I watch rising too. So anyways, if the message resonates, it's for you. Look at this, another three. And it's not just another three. You've got the 30s twice, two different decks, okay? And this is judication. This can be Libra energy, a decision, a judgment, a um, call, a decision outside of your hands, or you having to be the one who decides. That's incredible. Let's see what else is going to come out with the Kipper deck here. I'm, I'm looking at this judge who is looking at this man and woman and looking at them kind of like, oh, really? You know, you're telling me you want a divorce, but I don't feel... <laughs> That's what I'm feeling from that card. He's like, yeah, you're saying you don't want it. You want a divorce, but I don't think so. You guys will be married again in a, a month. Oh, my gosh. It's almost like he's saying, what are we doing here? Why are we here? I am hearing the name Judy and Judge, like uh, our Jude, Jude, J-U-D-E, Judy and Jude. All right, okay, oh my gosh, and 31, bad health, okay, so are you focusing too much attention on the wrong things? Is there somebody around you who may be ill? 31 is a four, okay, but it, you're progressing here, 30, 31, 30, 33, I'm not concerned about this, like, this doesn't feel like physical bad health. It feels more like mental bad health. Thinking negatively, especially if you're like pulling yourself up in court over a divorce that you know you don't want, okay? Now, sometimes divorces are beyond our control, okay? If your partner wants a divorce, it just means you're not compatible, okay? Let it happen. Don't fight it because you're just keeping yourself in torment. You're keeping them in torment. You're not, neither one of us is going to be happy. So if you need to, this is what it leads to is bad health, okay? So let something progress the way it's meant to develop. If you get remarried three months down the road, then that's what's going to happen. But if you're fighting it, you're just going to be in misery for years to come, okay? You've got some sort of unexpected income on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know how this divorce type thing relates or how that unexpected income relates to that. But there is, look at that, there is a wedding ring on that man's hand, okay, on the upper hand. So there is a gift from a married person to somebody who is not. So I'm not getting, it could be you're no longer married. It could be somebody else entirely, okay. I don't know how, oh, look at this. We have the child and the privileged lady, 12 Thir that's another three again. All right. So that's just off on the side here. So it could be child support. It could be paying alimony. It, it, it could be something completely different. All right. I want to get you one astrology card here. I hope me... Leaning my arms on the table is not making this camera shake. Didn't even think about it. House three, early learning, childhood relationships, the rational mind, and communication. And look what we have. We have two birds communicating. Okay, chittering, chattering. There's mountains in the background, things difficult, things that have to be overcome. But this is about thinking things through clearly and speaking clearly. 
Yeah, you know, sometimes when you get in front of a judge, have you ever, I'm sure you've watched a TV show, even if it's just a commercial where they do this, and somebody's before the judge and the person before the judge is just rambling on and all of a sudden the judge is just like, yeah. okay. It kind of feels like communicate clearly, be precise, be quick about it, um, be thorough, but be quick. Don't waste anybody's time here. That's what I'm hearing. Don't waste time. All right. An eternal crystal to go with you, and then we are going to close out this message. We have selenite. Peace. Okay? It's your crown chakra. And that is card 37, which is a 10, closing out a cycle. Selenite is a clarifying. That's the little tower that I usually have on my table that lights up. Um, selenite is salt, but it, it's meant to clarify, bring clarity, bring um, clear thoughts, uh, understanding, peace. Yeah, like these are narrow little towers in the card here. Mine are fat. So keep the peace, okay? Keep peaceful. Find peace in and harmony within yourself. If you uh, remember that there is love all around, maybe you won't ever have to go to court here if that's what's happening. Love yourself first. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. I'm also hearing, too, in your relationships, if you focus on yourself and you're loving yourself first, you're not worrying about the other person, are you? You're not worrying about what they're doing or what's going on. And they can feel that positive energy coming from you. And that allows them to focus on themselves instead of responding to you. And any negative thoughts, feelings that you have. And that works both ways. I'm not saying that you do that. I am just was told to bring that up. All right, my loves. I hope you've enjoyed this message. Go ahead, tickle tap, boop, or zap the like button. Claim it in the comments. Um, feel free to share this. It is one of the best ways to help this channel grow, doing all three of those things, okay? Until, uh, oh, don't forget to check in on the videos that I leave at the end here, okay? Talk to you later. Peace.